So today is a different kind of video. I want to talk about how to repair laptops. This right here is my, uh, yeah, my piano laptop. This is my piano laptop. It didn't want to start, but still. Here you go, I'm playing piano on it and I want to repair this. Let's for example, you want to extend the storage or replace it with a SSD compared to a hard disk, a HDD. And the reason why I want to do this is because it accelerates the speed. You can also change the, the RAM, uh, the memory, how you want to call it, and uh, many other things. So let me show you how I would do it. Here I have a laptop that is on. The first thing you need to do is shut it down. So right here, I am just going to go to the settings and just turn it off. There you go, just shut down, easy like that. Never put it in sleep mode it means that the pc is still on the safest way is to just shut it down the next thing i like to do is to shut down the laptop and to turn it over like this make sure you never have your drinks above your laptop this is very dangerous one drop of this can kill the whole laptop on the motherboard so just keep that away as far as possible and then grab your repair kit mine is right here here i have very useful tools i have for example a flat one um there you go it doesn't really want to focus but it's a flat screwdriver i have there you go i'm not really sure what it's called but you probably wouldn't know what it is um this is very useful to have as a set to keep with you if you want to repair computers so now the first thing you need to do is to make sure that this the battery is out so i'm just going to take it out just like this with one hand there you go experienced <laughs> and there you go i have the uh, battery in my hands this means that the laptop cannot be on sometimes you have a laptop that has it inside it and these are newer ones so make sure you first remove that before doing anything else you can open the laptop but make sure you don't touch any cables after you have removed the battery. Very important, you can kill your computer instantly. So, be careful. <laughs> Here, of course, I have a Windows sticker. I don't care if you copy it. I have many uh, activations. The second thing I have to do is to take off this cap. I know every single laptop can be different, but I'm just going to take off this cap by doing this and then sliding it out if i can do it with one hand there you go experience so i'm just gonna put this away there you go very easy and then i have many components here we have the memories right here is a fan which is going to cool the system it's going to blow out all the heat here is uh probably a heating uh, pad or something to keep it cool i'm pretty sure maybe this is a gpu or something uh so it's going to blow it all out here we have the network chip uh, you can see this because of these wires. These two wires are um, clamped on like that. Uh, you can just remove it very easily by just pulling it. So I'm just gonna pull it right here above. Just pull it from below to above straight. And there you go, it's off. And now we have this. It's very annoying to put this back on, but it can be done. Just gonna take a moment. There you go, I'm just gonna push it like this. There you go, if you push it and it clicks, that means that it is stuck. And then I'm just gonna push it back on. Because if this is not on, if this is not correctly put on, you don't have any Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So make sure that this one is correctly on if you want to repair this, if it's broken, if your Wi-Fi is broken. Yeah, you can actually see um, here that it's a wireless. And here you go, you have um, the name and everything. Uh, here, I'm pretty sure you have the model number. So if we look at model numbers, I'm just gonna zoom in. You see many things here. And uh, what I recommend you do is, it, it's pretty complicated sometimes, is just search up a few things. Um, but if you have to repair this, of course, you want to know the correct one, so you can put it back in just like this. But I can show you a better example. For example, here with the memory sticks, we have um, the information that it's a four gigabyte stick. You can see this right here. And I'm pretty sure if you search up this code right above, you should be able to find more information about this stick. 
to get it out is very easy you have these clamps right here just push them outwards if i can do that by one hand it would be wonderful if i can yes there you go and now it go uh, now it just flips above and then you can pull it out like that never bend anything it's going to break the system be very careful if you want to put it back in you can see the slots right here just keep it sideways like this and then just push it down like this then these clamps are going to get stuck again and now you have replaced your memory so right here um let me have a look it really just depends every single system is different right here i have my ssd so i'm just gonna click that out just like this now it's going to open and here i have my own ssd this could be a hard drive any hard drive you always want to replace and i could be making a video about how to do that by putting in a new ssd converting all the data so you can continue where you are and you have a faster startup drive and uh, everything's better you don't want to have you you don't want a hard drive it's very bad so the way to get this one out is not to pull it sometimes you do need a screwdriver so that is what i'm going to do i have my screwdriver right here of it in my hand so what i'm going to do is i'm going to need to screw this loose just like this just go left to the left side there you go pretty sure that's against the clock and after doing that it's going to get loose there you go i'm pretty sure this one could get out sometimes screws cannot get out and they are stuck with a clam but let's make sure that this one is not that one because we have to of course pull it out there you go i'm already removing it i'm just gonna do it with my right i'm way faster with my right hand there you go um sometimes it doesn't want to get out yeah there you go no make sure you always get the screws out just like that put them safe i sometimes like to put them in a box yeah there you go um so they are safe and you cannot get yeah yeah you, you never you know miss them or anything. yeah I, I forgot the word but it doesn't matter uh just click this one out by pushing um i think a little bit sideways there you go oh <laughs> it's just very difficult to do with one hand but yeah, yeah just push this one upwards like this now i can push it backwards so i'm gonna there you go i'm just gonna push this one out and of course i have a screw right here make sure you check that so never pull hard uh just make sure you have everything loose very important so right here i'm just gonna screw it loose if i can do that with one hand it would be wonderful there you go it's already loose now i have my ssd this is a 240 gigabytes uh ssd and this one is going to make the system way faster so let's say i have to put it in you just do it reverse and it should work right here we have a sata port and this one is for power and it is exactly the same as on a computer so if you have ever seen it before uh, this one you click on it uh, from the pcu which is the power supply and uh yeah that's how it works this one right here is for data and this one right here is for power uh you can see this of the size it never really changes this is a sata ssd you can see this right here never screw everything loose you're going to get rid of the parts i mean you're going to lose them and uh yeah that's not very good here uh, i'm pretty sure this is a speaker right here um it might be something different I'm not really sure it's always discovering and reading what is on it but the very basic components you're going to be repairing is the ssd the ram or the memory and the network chip these are going to be the most standard parts and of course the screen so what i'm going to do i'm going to put this back and we'll be right back there you go it is in and i'm going to close it just like that it's closed easy like that make sure everything is still in the pc and now we can pretty much close it up i'm going to show you the other side which is the display or screen so just click this on there you go make sure that if you have these red parts just click them close like this do remember you have to open them if you put in the um, battery so now i'm going to flip around the laptop here we have the um the keyboard and the screen so the screen sometimes you have to replace it you have to get these parts off just like this look there you go click click be very careful you can break this this is plastic by the way um and you have to make sure that every single 
Um, yeah, that there are no screws right here. It's probably a screw right here. It's probably a screw. Be very careful. I have my camera blocked off right here. Uh, you have to take that off because you're going to be pulling off the plastic. And here we have the keyboard. This keyboard uh, can be... Um, you can remove this whole part. Uh, because this is a keyboard. I'm pretty sure that it can be taken off. But I'm not going to be doing that in this video. It's very annoying to do this. And the other parts are going to be replacing... Uh, you're probably going to be replacing that more often uh, a whole screen i can make a video about it just let me know i'll try to take off this screen deck i'm just gonna click it back but if i do that right here it's gonna take a while <laughs> so if you want me to make a separate video about removing the keyboard and the display so the whole screen just let me know down in the comments subscribe down below and i will know that this video is enjoyed for and i can make more content like this there are many parts here uh you're going to be seeing the motherboard uh if i take this off and it's going to be a very more difficult job compared to just showing the back side of the laptop which is probably the part you're going to be um upgrading your parts more i'm pretty sure if your display is broken you can better go to a it shop you know that can repair it uh they are experienced and if you break anything um, that would be very stupid. The, the screen is very fragile. It's plastic. So be very careful if you want to try it or just let me know down below and I can prepare it for you and I can show you how to do it. I'm just gonna click in the um, yeah the battery and then I'm just gonna click in the red. There you go, the red part. There you go. Make sure because otherwise the battery falls out. We don't want this to show you that the laptop still works. I'm gonna start it up right now. There you go, the piano laptop is starting up. HP and Windows 11. It's not the best OS, but hey, it's fine. I okay, thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure that you like down below and comment down below. If I said anything stupid, I know I sometimes do, but I try my best. That's why I wasn't talking too much about model numbers. They can be very complicated. I normally just search them up um, and figure out which one it is. It probably says it already. It's a HP. So normally they have HP parts and all. Um, Arthur, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that... Um, yeah, you let me know down below if I should show you the display and the keyboard repairs. I want to thank you for watching again. <laughs> Goodbye.